What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying out a brand new mobile game that came out somewhat recently. I wasn't able to play it any earlier because of course I was on vacation. But we are here and I cannot wait to try this out. I understand that it plays somewhat similarly to that of Genshin Impact and I like that game quite a lot. So we'll see how this game goes. Okay. Got, got waifu already. I like how this game's starting. <laughs> oh my god, okay, tower. Hycros has sent someone into the quarantine. The quarantine's up. Damn, did he have COVID? <laughs> Too soon? Okay, there's a little bit of lag happening at Tower Fantasy, but that might just be my phone. Time to release the I'm not gonna say anything too crazy. What is going on? Oh my goodness, this these visuals, bro. Hello. Okay, we got the we got the guy from Portal. Oh my god, okay, yo, the, okay, the lag is crazy, guys. The lag is kind of crazy. Like, like I said, I'm not gonna say anything, like, I'm not gonna accuse the game right outright because, okay, the, the music kind of just stopped and it's like, okay, it lagged again. Um, all right. Um, it's a bit, <laughs> the music cut off again. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, guys. Oh, I have to click one of the two wanderers. Oh, okay. We have the option to pick male or female. Obviously, we're gonna pick the male because we ain't a simp. Does it even matter what server I'm in? Can I just play the game? I don't even know if it makes a difference which server I pick. We're just gonna pick Observer because that's what I'm doing. I'm the Observer of this game. And I'm assuming because I didn't pick the female, the female is probably gonna get either held captive or she's gonna die, like in Genshin. <laughs> I'm exhausted, all right. Oh, we're getting right to the gameplay. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So, uh, okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see how smooth this is. The running animation isn't the smoothest. It, this dude looks hella, hella stiff when he runs. But uh, <laughs> I digress. Let's see the punching. Oh, we got combos. We got combos up in here. Okay. I mean, I'm sure that does something, but I'm not, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I mean, for a mobile game, this isn't bad. Is it Genshin? No, absolutely not. But uh, it's doable. And we have a sword here that we can pick up. EM Blade. Very nice. A mine. This wasn't mentioned in the intel. Energy reserves are low. Holy crap, this Please dude, guys, this dude has a lot of bags oh. <laughs> in his front. Why are the There's bags in his there. front side? And why are they not in the side or the back? Why are they on his crotch area? Okay, so we finally have enemies. Let's see what we got here. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, oh. Try using your weapon skill. Teach the enemy a lesson. All right, we got weapon skill. Oh! Okay, that was kind of smooth. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Okay, look at that. Bro, that was like some Virgil shiz right there, bro. Hello. I like that very much. What is this, electricity? Does it hurt if I touch it? No, I guess not. I guess my character is just made of rubber. Okay. <laughs> I will say the placement for the control stick is a bit awkward because naturally speaking, my thumb is more inclined to go closer to the corner. So whenever I touch the screen, I'm always like this, but I'm sure if I play this game enough, I'll be able to adapt. Climbing, let's see how smooth this climbing animation is. Okay. I mean, hella, hella slow, but you're able to jump. So it's not like the worst thing in the world. Okay. And yeah, yeah, I keep moving to a certain side whenever I try to touch the control stick. So that's a bit, that's a bit trippy. Ruins chest activating. Okay. Oh, so we, <laughs> dude, this dude had to hack a whole program in order to open a chest. That's kind of meta. I like it. <laughs> Going to explore some more. Uh, it's freezing. It's freezing. What? How is it freezing? I don't see any snow whatsoever. Oh, the Cerberus is here. Okay, oh, we finally get to fight the boss. I mean, okay. Oh, quick time events? Okay, I mean, I'm not even, where's my sword at? What the hell's happening? Okay. Oh, we have to use quick time events with the the combat user interface. That's kind of, okay, that, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Interesting. Okay, boom, sword. Sla I don't even know what we were slashing. It didn't look like it did anything to the thing. Is this rock made of ice? It looks like they're slipping. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that water glitched out a bit. That was close. I didn't think the big one would follow me. Okay. Cool. I need to contact headquarters somehow. Oh, we got a little thing. Oh, we got a little like rock here with glowing thing can be smashing. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah. The control stick's a bit wonky. I don't like it. Oh, we got aberrants. Aberrants. Oh. Ew, what is that? It looks like freaking. Oh, oh, he threw a tire at me, bro. Goddamn, bro. All right. 
Alright, this is our special attack. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna have fun using that. That's very fun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still having trouble with the control stick. It's not, like, the most fun thing in the world to deal with. So, we're gonna use this. Oh! It's a homing attack! So, I don't even need to be near them in order to use it. I could just use it out in the open. That's kind of fire. Let me try that again. So, I'm gonna try and get as far away as possible from them, and then I'm gonna use the scale. See if it uh, hones into them. Let's see this. Nah, yeah, I, I, I guess I have to be close up. All right, that's fine. It, ma it makes sense. That would be kind of broken if you could just use it whenever you want and it attacks them. All right, so we're going to use this. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I mean, the combat system is pretty standard. Suppressor reserve low. Voice acting is kind of not... Okay, yeah, this is a bit hard. Yeah, this control stick is not my thing. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to complain about this control stick for a while. <laughs> All right, so we can dash, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, I love that. Boom, boom. The background scenery is looking kind of pretty. There, I mean, you can very clearly see that there's some shortcuts that they implemented for the graphics, but, you know, the overall feel of it so far is kind of cool. Okay. Oh, oh. Just a little more. A little. oh shoot. Well, we got waifu here. Take them away, wipe them. Well, that sucks. Well, goddamn, man. That's one way of torturing your victims, just wiping their entire memory. So great, this is how we start the game. We have our entire memory wiped, and we basically start fresh. What happened? Hey, Shirley. Oh, hello, cutie. Think, come here. Okay, Husbando. Yo, y'all didn't tell me Raiden from Metal Gear Revengeance was here. Suppressor seems to be fine. <laughs> Crossover? Yeah, this guy, this guy's outfit is something straight out of Maze Runner, I swear. Okay, oh, we, oh, we're here already. We don't need, like, an explanation of, like, oh, how you got here. One thing I like about this game is that the usage of cutscenes is very small. Usually, you would have, like, a lot of, like, text to go through. You have to read a lot of story before you start the game. But with Tower Fantasy, there's around a couple minutes of animation. But after that, the game basically just lets you do whatever you want. And that's kind of cool. I like that. Ask the man about the situation. All right, I'm going to ask the man about the situation. You could have just said, ask Zeke about the situation, but, you know, it is what it is so feeling better much better and you are wait our protagonist actually talks that's cool never mind uh no <laughs> we're not talking anymore apparently that's Shirley, and i'm zeke wait what brother why is she I'm not talking shelter you saved me of course okay okay <laughs> i guess it was just with that text box um <laughs> I guess she just momentarily decided to telepathically communicate to us, but now she's using her mouth again. That's good. Your suppressor was out of power, so we brought you in and fixed it. What what does suppressor mean? Isn't a suppressor something that holds something back? I didn't know a suppressor could be like a power source, but um, okay, I'm gonna just stick with it because you know sci-fi. This is Astra Shelter, area code HT501. What's your name? That and what do you that girl glitched out. <laughs> She had a little bit of a malfunction there. Are we in the Matrix, guys? Are we in the Matrix? Are we in a virtual reality? We did a full scan of your body and everything seems to be in the clear. I... Thank you. Okay, so this is something I've always wondered about stories where someone's memory got wiped. If your entire memory got wiped, how are you able to still understand language? Like, <laughs> theoretically wise, if your entire memory got wiped, you should be a baby, essentially. You should not even be talking words. You should be freaking... He should be doing that the whole time, and we should be learning language throughout the game. That would be the more realistic take, in my opinion. Go get yourself cleaned up. You look like a mess. What the f- what's their problem, bro? I'm an abandoned person with my memory wiped, and you're just like, get yourself clean up. You disgust me. Listen, bro, we don't all have robot designer clothing like you. Shut the hell up. Go show the newcomer to Celine. I've already informed her. Got it. Hey, newbie, this way. Okay, this girl's voice acting very clearly is the best, and it is not even close. Oh, so we gotta follow her. On top of that crate. Don't forget to pick it up. Okay, yeah. Uh, I literally wanted to go forward, but I went back. Yeah, I'm not really enjoying the controls. <laughs> Wait, where's the crate? Where's the crate? Where's where's the crate? Oh, the crate's right here. Okay, bet. Wow, so you just put the sword on top of this? What if someone took it? What if someone just took my shit? And I don't have any memory anyway, so I wouldn't even know if I had a weapon. That's kind of fucked up. Surely you would put it in a more secure place. Bro, you should not even know how to use a sword. Oh, 
Yeah, I can very clearly see some uh, <laughs> graphical shortcuts that the developers used for this game, but you know, it's okay. Not it's alright. too shabby, am I right? Did both you and Zeke grow up here? Why are you able to talk? <laughs> I'm gonna keep asking that. Very little. There weren't a lot of people back then. Everyone chipped Bro, this is some Breath of the Wild them. Destiny shit. Who is that? Hmm? Hello? Lag? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> uh, what? Who is this? Why are you here? Who? What? When? Where? Why? What? Do you? Where's your feet? You may proceed over at any time. Okay, this that is... freaks the hell out of me. Can someone get this girl out of here? Bro, even the characters themselves are glitching out. Come with me, please. We should not keep Miss Celine waiting. Nah, this girl freaks me out. Can I request a replace? Okay. Level up. I didn't even do anything, bro. What? What did I level up for? Oh, we got a little dog right here. Uh, let's see this animation. Let's see this running animation. Let's see this. Okay. Um, hello? Oh, so you can play with it. Interesting. All right. That's kind of cool. I mean, the texture is a bit, uh, questionable, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> hey, see that battleship up ahead? That's the Bethlehem. My brother said it's been here for 50 years. 50 okay. years? Yeah. How do you even know what years are, sir? Okay, whenever I pan the camera, hey, it glitches out. So, um, okay. Over. Interesting. Ooh, Celine. Hey, what's up, girl? So, what's up, shorty? You're the one they rescued from outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this girl's voice right here. So you're the ones they rescued from outside. Uh, hello, I'm here to. You don't seem to be older than Shirley. The outside world must not have been kind to you. This voice actress is uh. <laughs> I'm gonna need her Instagram after this. Celine, let's help our newcomer get settled in. Yes. Yes. Did she just wink at me? Hello, shorty. Okay, you single. This dude just teleported onto the platform. I did not see him get on that. I'm still going to complain to the fact that he has three bags on his crotch and not at his side like it should be. I'm going to just make fun of that. Oh, we can finally customize our character. All right. Oh, let's see here. Let's see this. Ooh, ew. At least he's wearing a bag correctly this time. <laughs> There's a lot of accessories here to take in. And the ripped jeans, I'm not sure about that, Chief. <laughs> Does he not have real legs here? Does he? Did he just cut off his legs to put robot ones instead? I would choose him, but this dude skipped leg day. So let's see what this guy is about. Oh my goodness. Okay. This guy just saw freaking Metallica live and he didn't change his outfit since. All right. This is like the most normal looking outfit I've seen. This guy just looks like he's from World Trigger. Oh, I like this. This one I'm liking the most. I like the hairstyle, kind of simplicity of the outfit. You only see about two main colors here. It's definitely the easiest to look out out of the five. I think I'm going to go with this overall color. Hello. Oh, we can customize the color. I like the customization. I could see myself spending a lot of time on this feature. So I think I'm just going to go with the one that I like. I like red. I think the red jacket with the white hair matches very well. Shout outs to Dante from Devil May Cry. All right, let's see this. Okay. We got, we can put glasses? Hell no, bro. Get that out of here. <laughs> Get this out. And let's see what's the, what is the eye patch. Ooh, that's a bit meta for me. So I think I'm going to just go straight normal. Ooh, okay. This boy looking a little nice here. Okay. I like this a lot. It's a head. <laughs> Okay, this dude looking like beautiful Joe out here. Uh, let's let's lower that. Bring up them shoulders. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. Hi. Ooh. Hey, oh my God. This guy is seven feet tall. <laughs> All right. And nah, nah, nah. We're not doing that. Uh, headphones. Uh, what? What? That doesn't even work. What? <laughs> the headphones aren't even touching the ears. No, bunny ears. Uh, we're not doing that anime weeb shit today. None of those accessories are it, Chief. I'm gonna just keep it empty for now. Face size. What? Oh, we got face size, cheekbones, lower jaw, chin. Okay, I like the specificity of the character customization. That's I like this. In my opinion, when it comes to character customization like this, more is better. It doesn't even matter to me how obscure the features are if you're able to customize it i think that's a cool thing to do now i like the customization i really appreciate that thank you tower of fantasy we looking mighty drippy look at that Ooh, 
Ooh, looking mighty beautiful right here. What, what am I supposed to do next? Nothing like some brand new clothes, am I right? I could literally listen to this girl talk for hours. Anyway, now that's done. You can really show the newcomer around the shelter. See if anything needs help. Can you show me around the shelter? Is this the one you rescued? How are we feeling today? Much better. Thanks. Staying alive is all that matters in times like these. Ugh, Uncle Paul, is that alcohol I'm smelling? I mean, Ugh. if you're asking if he's drunk, you should ask if Celine's drunk, given how the way she talks. Uh, <laughs> I might have had a drink or two last night. I was just going to retrieve the Bro, this guy sounds data. straight from Alabama. Hello. Take the chance to look around the shelter, and you won't get lost with the drone guiding you. I have no idea what the hell's happening right now, guys. So, am I supposed to follow something? Am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? I'm gonna just follow this marker right here because marker equals goal in RPG games. It's a very interesting looking drone. Oh, we can follow around the drone. Oh, okay. We can actually fly with it. Yo, that's so cool. I really dig that. Thank you. Collecting water sample data. Okay. I mean, it's just water, bro. I don't understand why you're collecting water samples. Just hold on tight. Oh, she's the one flying me? All right. Appreciate that. Thank you for telling me that. Right when I'm above water. Thank you for telling me that. Uh, very much appreciated. <laughs> Plant sample data? Bro, dandelion. Thank you. I now know what a dandelion is. What? <laughs> How would I go about life without knowing what a dandelion is? I'm so grateful. Collecting rock sample data? Bro, it's just rocks. Can we move on? <laughs> God dang, man. I ain't got time to be looking at no rocks. All done? Let's head on back then. That's what we We just you just forced me to collect samples? What I leveled up? What did I level up for? That's enough. I did nothing. Good work. <laughs> Come back and I'll show you what the other places look like. Bro, I literally just did this girl's job. What the hell? She literally said, "Oh, I'm gonna show you around town." And then forced me to do chores that's kind of fucked up <laughs> all right so you can find oh this oh yo the guy from Q is in this game y'all didn't tell me oh yo we got the guy from bioshock that's crazy bring the environmental data back to Paolo. yeah fuck you bro forcing me to give you data about rocks how about you get the rocks yourself good job i'll take the data to alfred anyway it's all thanks to your help today i did nothing bro Analysis. Long-term consumption of alcohol is hazardous to physical health. Please you better tell him, Queen. Dietary recommendations. Reduce alcohol consumption and exercise regularly. Well, damn, I feel like I'm getting called out here. <laughs> mm -hmm. You said it, Mia. Uncle Paul, you'd be smart to listen. I... all right. You damn well know he going back to the bottle after his job today. All right, moving on. Yeah, can we move on, please? Can I get to fighting, bro? I leveled up again? Bro, I feel like if I take a breath, I level up. That's a good problem to have, I suppose, though. <laughs> oh, now we getting drinks? Hello. Yo, give me some liquor right now. This girl just glitched. Yeah, I caught that. Oh, I heard about you. How are you feeling? Zeke replaced the cells in the suppressor. Nothing to worry about. All right, can we skip? I just want to I just want to get to the fighting. Can we get to the fighting now, please? Get to know Finny. That's really a quest, bro? You know the people who came up with these quests are some goddamn simps, man. They literally made getting to know women a quest. TMI. This girl said TMI. What? This is basically Genshin Impact but Gen Z version. So, this is our space Space Rift. Okay, can we get into it? How does it work? Um, I don't actually know. Uncle Paul says it uses Omnium to break things down for- Opera Omnium? That joke was dead. I'm sorry, guys. I- oh, well, um- All right, can we just go, bro? I'm skipping all these cutscenes now. I'm getting bored. Move to the transmission filter. All right, very cool. What's going on here? Oh, I- we're going in here, apparently. All right. We got some nifty-looking boxes. Okay. Just Lift. The filter and we're done. What the- uh, She got me doing chores, bro! Are you serious? I'm doing more chores! So I have to throw it in place? All right, bro. Here, take it. Will you help me push the filter in? I think something might be stuck. Yeah, can, do you have money to pay for my services? I ain't doing this for free. This guy has no concept of money. <laughs> then again, I play gacha games, so what do I know? Easy as pie. 
Now we just need to test it to make sure it's working fine. Okay, can we go? On what? On us, of course. But you can only travel from a space rift, seeing that you only... All right, can we... All right, let's go. Let's go. Speed it up, princess. Everything's fine. I want to do something. Anomalies detected at the space... Well, great. Oh, we got... To okay. What are you gonna do, miss? Oh, she putting barriers up. Oh, what, what the hell? Weapon data? Okay. Oh, we got some nice weapons here. That's what I'm talking about. Hello. All right. Let's see what we got here. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. Yo, we go and do it. My ears are dying right now. Why would they do that? <laughs> My God. Switching weapons will trigger discharge attack. Oh, interesting. Discharge attack. So whenever you switch a weapon, it gives an attack. That's that's a really interesting idea. Okay. Interesting. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's try to see the how this looks. Bro, these monsters look like they're from Blood Sea. Uh, upgrade weapon. I, I have to upgrade a weapon mid-battle? Uh, <laughs> yo, I like how this boss is just waiting for me to upgrade my weapon. <laughs> Like, I'm literally just standing here, but the enemy's like, yo. Yo, take your time, bro. Ain't no rush. <laughs> Freaking hell, bro. I'm not even doing anything. All right, let's upgrade the weapon. Let's see. Let's <laughs> upgrade it mid-battle. All right. In battle. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. See this? All right. Ooh. Dodge. Boom. Ooh, I got the jukes, boy. We got the jukes out here. Boom. Ooh. Yo, this is some Virgil shit right here from Devil May Cry. Hello, I like that. Oh, get out! Boom! Dodge! Ooh, look at your boy. Look at your boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I can teleport? That's what I'm talking about, bro. Give me this. Boom! You dead. You dead. Level up. The one time where a level up actually makes sense. All right, I want to do some more fighting. Hopefully, there's no more cutscenes. If there's one more cutscene, I'm done with this game. I just want to let you guys know. Where are the monsters? Are they? They're gone. You're safe, Shirley. Phew. Log, there have been a total of nine incidents this month in the shelter. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really scared of bugs. How did you run into it? There's something wrong with the space rift's locating system. Yeah, not my problem. All right, uh, can we get to, can we get back to more fighting, please? I have to Careful. follow sure All right, uh, we're done. <laughs> I'm done with this game. All right, so I think I'm gonna just stop here and let you guys know how I feel about the whole thing. All right, so let me start with the upsides. I like the fact that the opening sequence wasn't that long and you got to control the character relatively fast. The second thing I like is the character customizations. The customization menu is actually very extensive and you can even control things like your lower jaw size and your neck size. I've not seen any other mobile game with that complex of a customization menu. That's really a cool idea in my opinion. Third off, we got to talk about the combat. I think the combat overall is pretty nice. I like the idea of a discharge attack as well as the idea of a weapon attack. You don't really have to deal with like energy levels. You don't have to deal with a limited amount of skill uses. It's all just recharge. And in my opinion, I like that a lot more than the regular JRPG battle format. So now that we got the main positives out of the way, I want to talk about the negatives of this. Biggest negative to me is the control stick. I'm having so much trouble moving properly. I'm always moving a certain direction that I don't want to go whenever I start to move. And that's a problem. I've only been playing this game for like half an hour, but I can already tell that I'm going to have some chronic problems with this control stick. Second off, I want to talk about the lag. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's specifically the game itself or just the capabilities of my phone, but the fact that I can play games like Opera Omnia extremely smoothly leads me to believe that this game is just buggy in of itself. You guys noticed in the opening sequence, there was a lot of cuts in the music. There were a lot of graphical bugs when it's not necessarily a make or break thing for me whenever I see bugs in a game. But whenever you see lags that consistently, it leads you to question how stable this thing is in general overall i think if you enjoy this type of content and you really enjoyed games like genshin impact or zelda breath of the wild i think you might find some enjoyment out of this game but if you're a huge huge stickler about bugs and glitches and graphic design you might have a few inquiries about this game <laughs> regardless that's me trying out tower of fantasy let me know what you guys think about this game below are you actually playing this game do you love this game also let me know how the gotcha aspect 
aspect is here. I haven't looked at all into the, the gotcha aspect, the drop rates and stuff, but let me know how you guys feel about that. Was it good? That about wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what other games I should, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!